I mentioned uh, <coughs> the various places we come from. Uh, the thing about Fife is that there's lots of places in Fife with uh, the kind of names that seem to give BBC announcers uh, nervous breakdowns like Cardenden and Ballingrai. <laughs> uh, one of these places is Cull Ross. <laughs> which is where Lindsay comes from, just for the benefit of any English people who might be in the audience today. <coughs> St Andrews in the and stuff. But no, no, we don't count Mike because he's, 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 he was here just long enough to be to, to catch the, the dreaded disease known as Fife. Uh, so he knows it's not <coughs> curious. Uh, which reminds me that I, I believe St Andrews won the University Challenge or something today, so I mean, that must be a month or so or some. No? Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, Lindsay Fluffy is from the sunny seaside village or Oh, Ross. <laughs> <laughs> well, Jack actually said earlier on, would I play this tune? Did you mean it? Did you play it? <laughs> no. Yeah. Well, I suppose a better one is my road manager. It's a long way back. Yeah, this, yeah. <laughs> this is the tune of, it's on the King Ross Volume 2. Well, that's right. Every little hell, it's called the Cameron Highlanders. Second time round, just when you think you learn the chorus, and it's different. <laughs> yeah, do I know? <laughs> <laughs> you never learn the bloody chorus. <laughs> Sleep upon a heather bed, sick of the arms, sick of the evil 
ganze Bralla zieht, in der Köpko Bölli Gusso, mit Holbrooks und Galassi, Bölbe Tjil Bikanti. Ihr liebet doch er Nevis Mabet, von Grevel, wer verrat, wo sie versammelt, mag ihr brav, wo ihr berechnet. Oil he body burns and no some lassies fair and laddies bra just like their mother ain't and on your favor he's consenting. Can you marry me, lassie? Not the country boots. I'll hunt the otter and the brock, the hart, the hare, the heather cock. I'll do you with a spread of rock to mark your dishes, Katie. Then you'll be real, lassie, and you'll be real,
about this, but it's, uh, it's actually a love song. So it's from that time and place, end of the last century, northeast. Uh, it's about the harvest thing before the days of combine harvest, when it was all done by hand. And men and women, of course, uh, shared the, the toil and the pleasures as well, I suppose. Uh, it's a chance for songs like this. The summer days and heather bells come creeping over yon hill and bells. So keep. Is it funny when the next one comes in? Which we hope is about to 
Trotten sat me a dish, did he buy them? Did he buy them? For she dips them in a full of dirty water. <laughs> See the body when he scatter, some are big and some are fatter, in a full of dirty water. <laughs> oh, the brim is broken, it need no the corn. The brim is broken, it need no the corn. Oh, the brim is broken, it need no the corn. If she does need to tell the day, she'll eat the tall of the He's done now, the bits are turned on the good. Turn on the bed, turn on the gun. It's turn on the bed, turn on the gun. Did ever you see second hand trick and loom? Now the black bell's broken out, the bell of the guy. The black bell's broken out, the bell of the guy. The black bell's broken out, the bell of the guy. If it is the bell of all the day, the bell of mine. It's turn on the bed, turn on the gun. Turn on the bed, turn on the gun. It's turn on the bed, turn on the gun. Did ever you see second hand trick and loom? No, Mary had her iron coo, she milked it with a spanner. The milk come out in shelly tins and we yins for a tanner. <laughs> oh, Mary had a wristlet watch, she swallowed it one day. She took a dose of Epsom salts to pass the time away. <laughs> <laughs> the Epsom salts refused to work, the time refused to pass. So if you want to know the time, just look up Mary's telephone number. <laughs> a man lay down in a sewer one day, and in the sewer he died. The verdict at the inquest was a case of sewer sight. Oh, <laughs> to the old great. You know, Dunfermline, it's the place where I was born, where we used to play the truant for the skill in the morning, and gone home where breaks a hot door. Way round the pit and creep, cross Ford and Kearney Hill. Looking in the water, then behold lime kilns. Oh, here's to the old great to Northern Berlin. It's the place where about five, six of us were born. <laughs> Sunny North Anadon, which yes. has had more snow than Fife in the last couple of months. Terrible place it is, I wish I'd stayed here. The next thing is all yours. <laughs> Strathclyde the Reel, um, Earl Grey, and the Waverley Ball, which is unusual because it's a four part reel, and it's, I, th I think it's a dance and nothing to do with Mr. Waverley. So. <laughs> A big facade, really. Just to make sure I get the fiddle out of tune so I can't blame it on their playing. <laughs> oh, well, what's the that one?
Go we used to normally say to finish off this wee blemish with the uh, <laughs> oh, right. first a uh, couple of tunes. First one we used to call uh, the fifty first pile of in crossing the line. Then we discovered it was actually a lucky was welcome to Glasgow. <laughs> so, uh, oh, that's not much difference, really. So it's uh, well, he was welcome to Glasgow after crossing the line or something. Uh, however, uh, there's no dispute about the second one, which is called the Jig of Swords. Or uh, if we played it in the second half, it would be the Jig of Swords. <laughs> <coughs> Check Thank you. 
tune called The Blackbird, it's a song. One called The, the Ash Plant, and the other one called The Boy with the Lock.
A set of Irish tunes, which I first heard on a... Uh, no, it wasn't. It was an American record. An American record of uh, Berry Pickers at Blair Gary, believe it or not. Uh, playing these tunes around the sort of campfire. I think there's one of the recordings Hamish Henderson made and just wrote it in an American record. So this always uh, reminds me of that. Nothing to do with it, is it? Still, it goes another few minutes. First tune's called The Blackthorn Sticks. Second one's called The Rates of Cold Air. And the last one's called Drowsy Maggie. Yeah. Oh, for good time for these. It's really a, a woman's song, so you've got to imagine a few things. Yeah. <laughs> well, not a man's song. Oh 
Come, all ye jolly blue boy lads that work amongst the ground, and listen to my story wheel. I'll no detain you long. I'm nae as young as I used to be. Some say I've had my fling, but I feel just like a five-year-old when I begin to sing chorus, singing loudly, 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 loudly,
Oh, here you got your fee. I say to Jacky Brown, says I, come on and I'll let you see. Singing, I'll take a load of my daughter away. I'll call you horse and I'll muck your mouth. I'll bring you a rick astray. I'm as happy as a lad in a happy car. Singing all the day. I'll take a load of my daughter away. So we'll be here up the DCIs, and at this point I always explain the DCI stands for Dick's Cooperative Institute, which was, it, it could only happen in Perlman, a privately owned profit making cooperative, you know, uh, which had this very high class posh restaurant attached. So, we we'll both get up to DC highs, and then the fun began. We ordered steak and kidney pie, and lots of strawberry jam, and come the time to pay the fee. Time to find the score, with the polka in the flare, and sign wrecked at the door, singing, I'll take a look my daughter and me. I'll call your horse and I'll walk your out. I'll beg you a rick astray. I'm as happy as a lark from morning to dark. Singing on the name, I'll take a look at my daughter and me. So come on, you jolly blue boy lads that work amongst the grand. And then I spend your fee and ale, or cakes, or J.T. Brun. But walk right past old DCI's, with its cakes and its fancy feet. And spend your fee on woolen hose and get shin for your feet singing. I'll call your horse and I'll walk your mouth. I'll bring you a rick astray. I'm as happy as a lark from morning to dark. Singing on the day. I'll take a look at my <laughs> set of Shetland tunes we've, we're quite keen on Shetland music we've played Jerry so far tonight the first one's called uh, Gordon's Favourite the second one's called The Villa Fjord and the last one's called The Peary House and Hint the Bottom that is what you think it is Peary just means small you know as a button as a button yeah, there's nothing to do with Peary House
I think that's uh, one more. Here are the honey. And uh, Mike, you do something. I cook something, right? Seeing <laughs> 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 you're not, seeing you're not up very often these days, you can, you can get to do two then. Well, I always play reels and jigs and fancy things like that, and uh, so what it's going to have to be is uh, something totally different. <laughs> to think of polkas. First one, oh, I must tell you, we, 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 used call, we used to call this the Irish muck and a of this choir, you know, it sounds a bit like it. And uh, Lindsay, who is an expert on these sort of matters, went off and said, it can't be called, there must be a name for it. So he came back with this payout slip from Asda supermarket, you know. Now that may be that to you, but it's that to Lindsay, you know. So, uh, and on the back of it was written about oh, 22 years that we found for this tune. And the one we like best was Julia Delaney. I later turned out that Julia Delaney is far better known as another tune, so it's all complicated, so. <laughs> right, uh, <laughs> so the first tune we call Julia Delaney, yeah. and the second tune is the Fox Hunters jig. And everyone else calls it that as well. Yeah. <laughs> Just to be awkward.
Uh -huh. Well, do the first song uh, again. <coughs> the back one. Heritage.
Jürgens. Good morning and the ladies from Dundee. Our own Linda Teller. Wait for it. The big hand comes for all you people who came along here. Yeah. The big hand for yourselves. <laughs> uh, thanks for coming, Mike. Um, maybe it's tomorrow with Mike. Thank you for coming. More so for going. And we'll see you next week. Good night. Thank you.